ready. I'm going to ask you a couple of random questions. So, um, if animals could talk, which would be their products? Animals could talk, which will be the rudest. If animals could talk, which will be the rudest? Yes. Right. I'm going okay, so can you please translate this for me in a way that you will tell to a customer? Um Ready? Um, okay, so what is your greatest achievement? Sí, se va a bien, aunque si no le quito una pregunta, pero era como una confesión y hubo un par de preguntas por hacer. Um, okay. Let's see. I really like that. I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want Hola. Hola, mi 
No, eso no es el veneno. Así deja la mierda. Deja. No, cierra. Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm some tired. Tired. Why? Why are you tired? You are very young. It was a tiring day. Okay. How many hours a day you work? Eight hours or 10 hours? Six hours in the middle. <laughs> Six hours. Ah, okay. When I was working in a call center, I used to work 10 hours. All call centers, all this in English. I don't know in Spanish, but in English, they all, all, all of them work an hour. It's very hard. Yeah. Definitely. That is not for me. Hey, enjoy your watermelon, Jennifer. Delicious watermelon. For this heat. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jennifer. Look at her. Good evening. Good evening, William. Today has been a very hot day, right? I really need to buy an air conditioner in my office. Too hot. Too hot. Okay, people, welcome. We are going to start with the first attendance of the evening. Okay. Okay, cameras on and ready to respond. Alba Janet Jimenez. What did she say? Alba, uh, okay. But are you here? No, not yet. Okay. Sandra Sofia Benitez. Andrea, I'm sorry. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Not yet. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Jet. Hey, what happened?
Consuelo Saray Rivas. Too many people spending their money because they get paid today. Huh? Did you get paid to date? Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Nada. Sí. Eric José Hernández. Presente, Chir. Ok, very good. Finally, one that is present. Fanny Judith Palacios. Oh. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Okay. Welcome. Herman Enrique Gonzalez is busy, but he's present here. Okay. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Chat. Jose Miguel Maza. Manchet. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Oh. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Ok. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Good. By the way, Magdiel, the personal session at the end of the class is with you tonight, okay? Okay, teacher. Raul Arturo Esquivel. is coming, he's coming. Raul Arturo. Present teacher. Just in time. <laughs> Uh, Wendy Lisette Gomez. Present. Okay, good. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Wilber Alberto Perez. Oh, yeah. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay, welcome. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Welcome. And Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good evening, people, one more time. Okie dokie, let's get started tonight. Let me check here if I have something or not to practice. Teacher, present. Soy Fanny. Oh, Fanny. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, I will. I will wait. Yes, let's work on this just to practice a little bit about student, 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 student. Let me see. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, um, let me show you this. Yesterday we were talking about the use of should and shouldn't to give advice or to give suggestions. And I would like to show you this activity. I want you to work on that. Mm -hmm. Let me share the screen. Okay, is this. Write four sentences giving advice, giving advice to tourists in your town or in your city. You see, there is a group of tourists here. Imagine that they are going to visit your city um, San Salvador or Santa Ana or wherever you live. And I want you to give them some suggestions on some, some pieces of advice about what to do and what they should do and what they shouldn't do in your city. Okay, so please uh -oh. um, I will put you to work in small groups and I want you to think about that, okay? Two suggestions using should and two suggestions using shouldn't for a group of tourists in your city. Let me show you this. I'm going to share this picture in WhatsApp. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Is... There you are. I'm going to... Okay, now you can share a screen. No, 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 rooms. I German, okay. And the other one is, where is she? Okay. Okay, perfect. Join your groups, please, and write two suggestions we shouldn't and two suggestions we should to tourists in your town. Be creative, use your imagination. Let's have uh, some fun suggestions, funny suggestions for them. Okay, go to your groups. I will give you 10 minutes to work on that.
Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I'm late. Yo, yo escribí estas. Dale. You should to the historic center. You should visit the restaurant in the San Salvador, San Salvador Volcano. Y, uh, Eso you sería should... todo. ¿Cuál es? Ah, este es un rock. Los que están en el chat, falta alguno. No los del chat. Yo creo que pidió dos y dos el teacher, pero ya ahorita ya nos descosimos, démosle. Sí, sí, sí. Oh, sí. Ok. Solo estas cuatro oraciones vamos a hacer. Lo lamento. Sí. Estoy muy fatigado. Ok. Pero gracias. Después. 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 Así. Después. 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 Son, no, no está, no, no está en el libro. No, en hay esta, que escribir. Que el compañero está proyectando, hay que hacer cuatro oraciones. Ah, okay. Utilizando el you should. You should take your security measures. Esa sería una. El compañero no quiere que pongamos you should don't take photo a uh, soya pango. <risa> <risa> ah, ¿Qué? sería una buena. Sí. 
can see him. Está bien. Quiero decir la decir la Google. Hola, perdón. Puedes, puedes practicar la voz también si querés. Vaya, ahorita. Voy ahorita. You should visit the Chinatown restaurant. You should visit. Las 10 era mi horario normal.
Okay, people, now I like to hear your sentences up or your suggestions for the tourists. Let's start with uh, Eric and then Nilsson. Give me your suggestion, one suggestion. Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Okay, you should visit the restaurant Bondi. Bondi? Oh. Yes, it's a restaurant. Where, where is that restaurant? In what city, San Salvador? Yes, in San Salvador. Oh. Okay, good. In San Benito. In San Benito. Ah. Yes, it's okay. Okay, perfect. In San Benito. Okay. Blanca, what would you recommend to tourists? Blanca. Okay, Carlos, what would you recommend? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, you sure eat rice pupusas? Ah, okay. Good. Andrea? Um, you should visit Sur City in La Libertad. Ah. Okay. You should try the pupusas. Okay. Uh, you should children go out after 10 at night. Okay, you okay. Should, you should climb. Hey, <laughs> Wait. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just the affirmatives. Perfect. Raul, what about you? Your affirmative suggestions. Okay, teacher. You should visit the Lempa River. Ah, okay. Good. Pedro? Uh, you should uh, visit uh, Lay Cuatepeque Lay. Okay, good. You should uh, visit uh, the Volcano Chaparasique. Perfect, thank you. Magdiel. Hello, sir. Hello. You shouldn't. Affirmative. You shouldn't. Affirmative. Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Okay. You, you should visit um, Fureza so, so logic. Ah, okay. In El Salvador. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Exactly yeah. in Hayek. Yes, that's right. Okay. Funny, funny, Judith. Hello. You should visit the Chinatown restaurant. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's good. Henry. You should visit Playa El Tunco, Tunco Beach. Oh, definitely, you're right. And, and you should drink to Supremas. Okay, Wilbur. Wilbur. Sorry, sorry. You should taste the sopa de pata. Hey, perfect. Eric Jose. You should take the view security dancers. Ah, okay. Jennifer. You should know Ilopan's Lake. 
Ah, good. Yes. ¿Y puedes decir la negativa? Todavía no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Now, uh, Wendy, Wendy Ramirez. Hello. Yo puse t-shirt. She short day the children why here to Houston. Where? Her. To Houston. 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 Oh, okay, but you don't live in Houston. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, eh, si, si gusta lo repito. Ok. No me escucho bien, ¿verdad? You eh, should... Bájale, por favor. Ah. She, uh, she told, chul, perdón, take the children away her to Houston. To Houston. With her to Houston. Ok. Uh -huh. With her. Ok. okay. And William? Um, you should tour the historic center. Okay, very good, very good. Now let's hear the negative suggestion, okay? What they shouldn't do, what the, the tourists shouldn't do. Let's start with William. Um, uh, you shouldn't shouldn't walk lonely places. Okay. Wendy, do you have any suggestion we shouldn't? I should go to, I should not go to work. Okay, okay. Well, Jennifer? You shouldn't take photo in Soyapango. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You, you could lose your cell phone or your camera. <laughs> okay, Eric. Hey, what are those? <laughs> negative. Uh, uh, you should not eat pupusas with fork. Ah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Definitely true. Eric and Nilsson. Okay, ahorita, teacher. You should not visit the restaurant, uh, the Green Green Restaurant, because there is a bad service. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, Miguel? Hello. Hello. Negative. Yes. You shouldn't travel without money. <laughs> okay, you're right. Uh, Pedro? You should, uh, you should then uh, go to the Conchavo Volcano with, 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 without uh, staying to can. Without what? Without uh, uh, staying to can. Staying to can. To... Uh, with... Sin que te quedes a acampar. We shall... Ah. No sé si se pronuncia así, la verdad, o sea, o sea, por eso no me entiendo. Yeah, you could say without camping. Camping, ok. Camping, uh -huh. ok, camping. good. 
Funny. Your student suggestion. Funny. Ahorita he dicho. Sería. Um, you should, should then use the camera in the museum. In museo. Museum. 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 Okay. Yes, you're right. Okay, Henry. You shouldn't pay Uber or taxi if with cash. Better use credit card. Ah, okay, yeah. But sometimes they don't like it. Okay, Wilbur. You should not swim naked in the Lopango Lake. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Raul. You shouldn't go Vespa at Mountain. You shouldn't go on Vespa where? At Mountain. Ah, yeah. Uh, 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 Andrea? Andrea. There, Carlos. You shouldn't forget to visit Fruit of the Flowers. Ah, yes. Okay, you're right. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, Blanca. You shouldn't visit La Campanera City. Okay, you're right. So, very good. Okay, so this is the way to use uh, should and shouldn't. Yeah. And just to reinforce that. Now let's continue with the next lesson. In this lesson, you will be able to write short and professional emails to co workers. You will be able to write short and professional emails. So tell me, do you send emails every day? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah? Every yes. Every day? Okay. Every day. Every day, yeah, a lot of emails. Then the other question is, Will emails be brief or long? What do you think? Will emails be brief or long? It depends. Depends on what? The topic. Okay. In my case, be brief. Mm -hmm. Brief in my case. Brief. Oh, yeah, even though there is a lot of information, but you try to, you should try to make it brief. Right. Think as brief as possible. And finally, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Three tips to write effective emails. Be punctual. Okay. Another tip for an effective email. 
If you are in the work, be polite. Be polite. Sure, and to point. Turn and direct to the point. Okay. Any other idea? That's all. Great. Great. Okay, great. Don't forget attachment files. Ah, yes, that's some, sometimes that happens, right? You send the email and you forget to attach the files. Well, at least that I have, that has happened to me. <laughs> I send an email and I forget the file. Okay, very good. Let's take a look to this conversation. Well, there are some some tips here for writing formal emails. Which tips do you do you follow? Which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Check the tips that you follow. Let me read them. Do not use capitals. Avoid using the subject important. Use a formal salutation. Be brief. Express clearly why you are writing. Do not use abbreviations. Do not use smileys or emojis. Which tips do you practice? Mark all the tips that you practice when you write an email. Don't use uh, capital letters. Okay. And um, uh, don't use a uh, abbrevi abbreviation. Okay. Okay. Let's do and and and, uh, and don't use a uh, smiles. We uh, everybody use a uh, word chat for 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 send emails, uh, for send as uh, emojis. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll send you in small groups for just five minutes to compare your answers. Okay. Okay, join your groups, please, and compare your answers quickly.
Okay, people, I'm going to take the second attendance of the evening. Please respond. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Perfect. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Eric Jose Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Good. Herman Enrique González. Eh, Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Okay. José Abel Izaguirre. José Miguel Maza. Irina Elizabeth Hernández. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Good. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Okay. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Lizette Gómez. Present. Okay. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Good. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Okay, and Henry Alberto Perez. Henry Alberto. I cannot hear you. I see you, but I don't hear you. Okay. Now we're going to practice this conversation, okay? I'm going to record it here in WhatsApp. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Will you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. One more time, it says, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. 
Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Do you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. So now repeat, please. Do you often send emails? Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. No, no, no it is it's not, not professional. professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? I see. I see. I see. Could you share more, share tips, more tips to write effective, effective emails? emails? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. sure. Now, I am Amanda and you are Luis, okay? Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, no. it is not no. professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, yeah sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, now you are Amanda. You begin one, two, three. Do you open emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use a revision in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. I see. Could you share more of it for right effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yes, too. Okay. Now, um, I would like you to practice this conversation, but oh. let me see. Yeah. And I want you to add more, two more uh, tips. Two more tips to this conversation. You, you could. Okay. Okay, Henry. Uh, I want you to a sweater. Practice this conversation, but add more tips. You can add two uh, two questions like this, or two more tips. Okay. I will send you to work in groups again. Create the groups here. Okay. Okay. Please uh, 
practice the conversation y agreguenle two more tips, okay? See you in 10 minutes. Join your groups, please. Teacher. Yes. Eh, las disculpas, cuando me estaba pasando la asistencia, se quedó en mi máquina, se apagó. Ok. Me acabo de cambiar el celular. Ok, ok, no problem. Join your group, please, to practice the conversation.
Okay. Um, if we have time, we are going to we are going to uh, present the conversations. Okay, but let's continue with the book, and then at the end, if we have time, I would like to hear some of your conversations. Right now, let's continue with point four, steps to write a formal email. Okay, we have some tips here. It says, read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal, formal or informal. And I have some tips. Tips to write a formal email. Okay, that is what we have here. Tips to write a formal email. Um, for the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal. Okay. For the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal. Let me read the tips first. One. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Two, include a polite salutation. For example, dear mister, dear miss, good morning, etc. Three, write your main point in the opening sentence. Four, don't use all capital or all lowercase letters. Five, avoid abbreviations. For example, PLZ for please. Avoid abbreviations. Six, be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Seven, be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Eight, use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Nine, add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Your name, business address, and phone number. And 10, edit and proofread before you send the message. Okay, is there any question with these people? Any question with this? Yes. Uh, what is in Spanish? Regal. Okay. Let me remind you the tool that I gave you for the. Okay. If you remember, I gave you a, a website that you can use as a dictionary online. Let's check best regards. You see, is the way you close a, a letter or email. Meaning, atentamente, cordialmente, mis mejores deseos, saludos cordiales. So, 
you can translate it in a different different ways. What is the way to close a letter or an email? Okay. Oh. You can use this website for Any other question, people? Pronuncia dos palabras, la misma básicamente, pero una como conjugada de la que usted dijo, bis, bis rigor y rigors. Uh -huh. Otro significado, como. No. When you see just regards, regards. Uh, apreciar, in this case, estimar. Yeah, saludos. Lentamente. Saludos is the same. Regards, best regards. It's the same thing. Okay. Any other question, people? Okay, you have here two emails and you have to check if it is formal or if they are formal or informal. And uh, for the informal email, you have to discuss what tips will be useful to make them or to make the informal email more formal. All right, so I'll put you in groups again to work on that. Is it clear what you're going to do? Can you repeat the indication, please? Sure. So you have to, let me see. According to these instructions, you have to classify these two emails in formal or informal. Formal or informal. Okay. Now, for the informal email, you have to discuss, you have to discuss what tips will be useful to make the informal email more formal. For example, if you think, oh, this is informal, okay. What should you do to make this email more formal? If you consider that this is informal, I don't know. I'm just checking. Got it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah, you have here that these are the instructions for this. Okay, let me and you again in your groups. We're going to use the same groups to work on that activity, activity four.
Join your groups, people, to work on exercise four.
Okay, let's see. Let's let's read the first email. It says to Peter at mail.com. The subject Saturday. Text says, remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. See you. Okay, this email, is this email formal or informal, people? It's informal. Informal. It's informal. Because informal. use abbreviation. Ah, because they use abbreviation. Okay. Let's read the second one to Robert at mail.com subject tomorrow's meeting. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Is this formal or informal? Formal. Formal, right? Okay. So what can we do to make this email more formal? What should we do to make it formal? Include a polite salutation. Okay, a polite salutation, uh-huh. That's all people? Any other idea? Dear Miss. Yes, that's a polite salutation. Include a polite salutation. It's brief. It is brief. So that's, it, it the, is brief. The subject is ah. topic relevant. Ah, okay. The subject must be uh, the topic. Okay, uh, what, what would be the subject to make it formal? If we are going to make, to write the topic or the subject, What would be the Saturday the event? Saturday event. Saturday event. Uh-huh. Okay. Then a, a better uh, formal salutation. Don't use abbreviation. Yeah. Avoid abbreviation. Don't use abbreviation. Almost be seeing you. Okay. Okay. Very good. And finally, uh, you have to write a professional email to a coworker. Okay, I'll I'll put you in in groups again. The same groups, I want you to share your email with your classmate. And you are going to write a, an email to your classmate, a formal email to your classmate. And you are going to send a copy to me, All right? my email can you yeah i will give you my email 
Let me see, I'll give you this one. Give me a second. Okay. I don't use this email that much, so. Okay, that is my email. So I want you to send a copy of your email to me. Okay, just a copy. Just two, just two. Okay, join your groups again and ask the email address to your classmates. Then you are going to write a brief formal email and you're going to send a cup. Can you share your email? Yes, I put it in the chat. In chat. Okay. Ah, okay. Yahoo and X. Yes. I was Mexican by that time. Go to your groups, please, to get your classmates' email.
Okay, people. I'll be waiting for your emails. Uh, let's take the last attendance of the evening. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Perfect. See you tomorrow. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Very good. See you tomorrow. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Present. Good night. Good night. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Herman Enrique González. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good night. Good night. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Jose Abelis Aguirre. Okay. Jose Miguel Maza. Marina Elizabeth Hernández. Eh, Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. No, no, don't go, don't go. <laughs> yes. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Wendy Lisette Gomez. Present. Okay, good night. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. Good night. William Alexander Paniagua. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. And Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Good night. Okay, people. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, Miguel. Hello. Could you check your email, teacher? I'm sure. Yeah. We send in the email in the group. With ah, yes. uh, you are Isau Garcia. Okay. Yes. Yeah, got it. To Andrea and Henry, copy to me. Got it. And your classmates, remember that we have until Friday to complete the task of unit three. See you on Monday. Yeah. That's Excellent. Good. Perfect. Um, the formal, the, the informal emails. Como, como sería? Quizá cuando escribimos algo, algo rápido. Yes, when you don't observe all the rules so you can write uh, abbreviations or you use inf informal 
when when we use the the abbreviation for example asap yeah is formal or informal well I, I, asap is very common actually i have seen that in formal messages in, in my company mm -hmm. the, the the manager they use it use it Use yes, it. yes. A sub or F G F Y for your information. F Y I. F Y I. No sé, otro, otro acrónimo. Uh, I don't know. DK, don't know. But yeah, you know, so these are kind of a very. A la, y a la, a la firma que se le pone a los correos, ¿cómo se le llama, Ticha? La firma que se le ajusta. Signature. Uh, yeah, pero acá se menciona en el libro algo de eso. Vamos a ver. Aquí dice en el point nine. Here you see. Oh. Signature, uh, block. signature block. Signature uh block. -huh. We you can add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Your name, business address, and phone number. Okay. It's it's formal add signature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or formal. You know, sometimes in in the com in companies, I guess. No, I, I don't know they don't observe all the rules exactly no because sometimes you are co-workers so you are familiar so you are friends but for example these rules are uh, it's better to apply to follow these rules if you are mm -hmm. going to send an email with an question or with an estimate Mm -hmm. to another company or to another person, a client. Estimate uh, is, is equal the dear. No, an estimate is un, es un presupuesto un, o una cotización. Ah. Ah, okay. Una cotización is, is an estimate. Estimate or budgets. Uh, budget is more un, es, es un presupuesto de gastos a como tú vas a gastar fondos no, es more un budget budget uh, uh. no se puede usar budget cuando digamos hacemos un presupuesto para reparar el carro por ejemplo no that's usually called an estimate Est estimate mm -hmm. Um, that's an estimate. Teacher, una, una pregunta fuera de esto. Fíjese que yo dentro de, dentro de un tiempo voy a cambiar de trabajo. Mm -hmm. Entonces, no sé si en el nuevo trabajo me van a seguir ayudando con la información que pide inglés corporativo, porque siempre uh -huh. piden la información de un mes, de un mes atrás, por ejemplo, la la carta de planilla, la planilla de un mes atrás. Entonces. Fíjate que de todas bien. esas cosas administrativas eh, que tienen que ver con, con todos esos procesos, nos, yo como maestro no las manejo. Las manejan las otras personas que están en el grupo, que son de, de administración. Ellos te pueden dar mejor información de eso. Ajá. Bueno, entonces les voy a preguntar porque sí, voy a hacer un, un cambio. 
Sí, sí, es de ir con tiempo, si no, a veces toca pagar algún mes por ese. Pero, no sé, no estoy especulando. Digo eso. Todos esos procedimientos los manejan ellos. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces voy a, a preguntar con ellos ahí. Entonces, sí, sí, sí. Thank you, thank you very much, teacher. Ok, McDill. Ok. Have a good night. Ok. See you. Hoy oh, roosters are. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.